Hello, uh, basically I'm going to share this uh, idea today because I think it's quite um, a good one. And uh, what I'm showing you here is um, just having a, an idea about how to use the uh, long Euro tier wide play. Now if you can see here on the screen, I've got a couple of things. So on one side, I've got the actual chart. It's a daily chart here from FXCM. Now the light blue is the Euro tier Y going back uh, a few years. And the other line is the close line for the uh, Turkish um, MSCI iShares ETF. So this is a collection of all the major uh, companies in in Turkey. Uh, MSCI indexes kind of put together all the the more influential um, companies and provide a an index um, uh, ETF that essentially gives you an idea of sentiment. Um, it's inversely related to uh, the actual price of Euro TOY, so it's actually perfectly correlated to the lira. You can see that the movement is kind of in the opposite direction. And um, there's been this sharp rally in the Euro TOY, which corresponds with a sharp decline in the um, MSCI. Now, if you look on this side, this is Yahoo Finance. That's the actual iShares MSCI Turkey ETF. And what's good about this is that you can see that there are um, some uh, interesting features. I put an RSI there to kind of show you where uh, where we're at. I tend to have a uh, an 80-20, so you can see the 80 there and the 20 there. This is the um, actual uh, kind of maximum period. I've got it as a daily there. I can change that to a weekly, for example, just to give you a sense of where we are. And you can see that the decline in price for the um, fund ETF and the RSI is very similar. There's a lower high here and here. And so we are kind of in agreement. Now, if we put it to a monthly, nothing much changes. If you put it to a daily, you might see a slight divergence because there's the uh, price there. If you kind of squeeze that a little bit, you can see that um, price has been declining this high here in August, and this lower high in uh, October, and not matched by RSI, which is actually rising. So, um, Obviously, if you drew a trend line there uh, on the under the troughs uh, or the lows, uh, you see that at this point we've broken. So RSI is kind of broken uh, through its own kind of trend line, and uh, but essentially we've come down for this low, which is near 20. It's quite heavily oversold in August, and uh, so I'm wondering if this is a, a kind of bounce back. Uh, what's really interesting though is that on the side of volume, which is kind of where um, my interest lies for this because we don't obviously have a centralized volume a set of data for spot FX uh, and the Turkish Lira in terms of the um, uh, C, um, CME um, futures side is very scant. So we don't really get a lot of data there. So what we need to look at is the actual um, ETF as a proxy for volume. And you can see where we're at. And if I just kind of bring this out, we've got quite a bit of um, heavy selling volume down in um, August and this got us down to uh, this level uh, so just under 20,000 now we're down to 90,000 but actually the sell volume is lesser than on a daily basis what we saw here so it's achieved this drop with a slightly less uh, kind of dramatic uh, volume and if I go back um, quite a fair bit just to give you an idea what happened in 2018 i keep going back to 2018 but that was a critical moment um so we're down to 19 here which is slightly higher than uh march of this year after the pandemic and if you look at march there you can probably see that the volume is uh, significant but the biggest sell volume that we saw was back here in uh, 2018 so if i just kind of stretch that it might take a few seconds and uh, you'll see that there is quite a bit of selling volume there quite dramatic here in uh, May 2019 and uh, very very dramatic here in August of 2018 we've not seen volumes like that but certainly the the levels here that we saw back uh, here at 19,000 uh, we are sort of back to those levels of that uh, really frenetic crisis of the summer 2018 which was quite in, incredible uh, so we're back to those levels really really low and so with the slight divergence of the RSI you do wonder how long this um, downtrend will continue um, that's all I've got to say so I'm actually long at UOTY and the trade is going really well 
but I wanted to say that um, it's uh, going to be interesting in the next few uh, weeks to see how, how it pans out in November. So thanks very much for watching and see you in my next video.